Hi guys, welcome to another video for our J7 2016 and in this video I am going to tell you the A7 2017 port for the J7 2016 and that is the Grace UX not all uh, not Dream UX 2 and this is ported by developer OS 786 and uh, let's see what it can do and I was on any uh, Evo Super S8 ROM for the J7 so I will just share my battery details first before starting so just show you how it works great or not so this was the battery details for Evo Super S8 I have been using it for 1 day and 22 hours and I got a screen on time of 11 hours and 20 minutes so just 13 minutes I just uh, and I have uh, it was on 5% I just uh, charged it to 20% to shoot this video so uh, let's see and we'll let's start the installation of the A7 2017 port So first of all you will need to power off the device let's power off the device because uh, the J7 2016 ROMs now don't have any uh, software reboot menu let's uh, start the uh, boot into TWP recovery by uh, pressing the volume up button the home button and power button this is the same logo I use that's great So we are in TWRP. Let's first uh, our brightness thing. Bring it to low so that you people can see. Okay, great now. First you need to back up if you want. So I have already backed up my data. If you don't want to back up, if you want a lighter UI than the S8 preview, so you can try this ROM without any backup. And just uh, back up it anywhere on the internal storage or SD card wipe. Dalvik system data cage and wipe so in my previous videos as you can see I am going to I have wiped the internal storage so that was uh, not necessary to wipe it micro SD card oh sorry uh, it's in my uh, SD card only somewhere in uh, UC downloads and here is the A7 2017 port let's flash it so yeah it's some another ROM with a new base ok he is the main developer for any uh, other device and OS 786 is ported so thank you and all the other members uh, who has helped him to port this ROM taking time but yes touch with roms to take time to install you can get the exact time here i'm not going to skip it or, or anything and yes i'm going to try this rom for first time just now i have downloaded this from uc downloads used geo geo 4g to download this yes uh, fast downloaded in just seven minutes good speed i got okay so this was not a discussion time for geo 4g and its speed it's a7 2017 port so i think you guys will be uh, surprised like i made a video on uh, okay voltage also enabled i made a media video on asset ui and afterwards so this rom is released afterwards let's see about the boot logo change okay it's same thank god i don't need to flash it again okay with all those uh, same slow samsung animation that's uh, literally someone need to change the boot animation for this we need a faster one not this slower so let this phone boot up, uh, everything is uh, old, uh, this boot animation too. So nothing new for the boot animation logo. Let this phone boot up, I will give the review of this. The device has booted up and as you can see on the home screen, voltage is working, this is the older widget. And we get everything older, not too older, because this is a Grace UX. 
and it's based on the A7 2017 so model number okay let's go to a software info and you can see baseband version it's a 7 uh, J710FN X, X device name A7 2017 so yes uh, it's A7 2017 it's uh, pretty like the pre-rooted uh, but it's still good and I've not tested the battery life so I will put the details and everything of the battery life soon uh, after I get it good and in the description below so check this uh, description again after one day and uh, giving about the storage let's go into storage settings first I will clear the cage data and yes this uh, includes my 1.1 uh, GB of uh, so I think a uh, 10 GB data you are getting your yeah, available space 1.1 you can 8.7 something GB you are getting for using okay uh, still we will uh, go to the other and check what is here okay the ROM is inside this uh, I will just delete it okay no I won't delete it I will just move it so yes this ROM is taking this space sorry for these interruptions in the video so okay uh, other things about this uh, rom is it's grace ux completely grace so the performance will be better than asset ui because the asset launcher is very laggy and doesn't work well on the uh, marshmallow devices uh, like it works on nougat so nougat it applies very uh, direct quickly you can install the apk but on uh, these devices we need to go into the system and do every stuff with the prefab exchanging the launcher or deleting it and placing this file of the launcher this was really ridiculous but the asset ui asset uh, evo super asset rom for the j716 already had it that was great okay i think uh, 90 okay it's done moving now let's so uh, uh, see the 8.21 gb available and we have the sd card let's go to the ram So we have that ugly update magazine which I don't need and many users don't need. So yeah that is an add-on. Okay, when GB left. Good. Was not getting this on the S8 ROM. So if you need some performance, use this ROM. But if you need good battery life, I have not tested this battery life, so I cannot say anything about the battery life, but it will be still better because device is same and this samsung members and sl i don't think so many users use it let's look on the camera camera ui is never not about the asset and one active mode is not there because we don't have the active key to so autofocus yes let's name it it's here other uh, things are here everything so this rom is pretty good to handle deep loaded fully but facebook and instagram are inbuilt so uh, i don't know why facebook and instagram are inbuilt they should also be uh, removed from the list and this both apps sl and samsung members which can be installed through the samsung apps store so uh, we don't need that to as secure is there so you can lock your apps lock your any apps like uh, Okay, it's working. Pin, we will set 0000. And we are going to lock Facebook here. Let's go and. Uh, so it's working. And Vlog and everything is working. Let's look what more we get. And the toggles are. Okay, capture screen thing is here. Always on display, and this doesn't work, so do not ask. NFC is working. There are uh, no issues. So NFC is also working. So no great issues for this device. Uh, now this device not for this ROM. No bugs at all. Everything working. Let's see what we get. Advanced features. Uh, smart state doesn't work because it's not a device feature. So don't get into it. Easy mute direct share some 
simple simple things and here are also the same same things we saw in the SA drum same here device security okay it's never one so uh, lock screen let's see about the pin lock works or not the pattern and everything I will set this as my pattern works I think it works okay pattern lock is working so many people were having doubt about the pattern lock and everything so that's working in this ROM and also I'm going to show you VLD working yes we are having a working VLD on this ROM so uh, no more issues about it feels very smooth let's see what reboot option options we have okay some font is changed and no extra reboot options so this was a review for the a7 2017 port and there was nothing more to explain in this rom because it's simple and debloated not many apps are here battery life is also well i think because it's not dropped well okay let's look upon the wallpapers i just want to show you okay yes we get the new updated one so you can install themes and change icons too so this was the review for the A7 2017 port. If you like this video, please press the like button. And if you dislike, dislike it. And give the feedback in the comment section so that I can improve a lot. And the next time you saw my video, you always like, uh, always press the like button. And comment for any issues and all the feedback down below. What's this? Okay, the camera effect. <laughs> I was suffering. And subscribe for more videos. Bye.